Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hi, I'm Emily from the Franklin Hennepin County Library, and that was Teddy. Welcome to Family Story Time. Teddy was just naming for me the four seasons of the year. Do you know the four seasons? There's spring, summer, autumn or fall, and winter. What's the matter, Teddy? Don't you like winter? I'm sick of it, Emily. I'm sick of having to dress in all these layers and not being able to go outside and having to warm up the car whenever we do go outside and charging through this yucky gray snow in my boots. Well, Teddy, the snow is gray because it's melting. Winter is almost over. We could make a snowman. A yucky gray snowman? I don't think so, Emily. How long is winter anyway? Well, technically, Teddy, it's just three months. But in Minnesota, sometimes it can seem longer. I'm sorry you're unhappy about it. I wish there was something we could do. How about if we move south, where winter's shorter and it's warmer temperatures? Teddy, you have to say goodbye to all your friends. We'd have to leave one of the best library systems in the world. Really? Is Hennepin County Library the best in the world? Well, it's one of them, Teddy. And besides, I think you would miss Minnesota and its glorious lakes. Well, I wouldn't miss my boots. I think we should go to the other side of the world where it's summer right now. Did you know that? That on the other side of the world, it's summer right now? That's because those countries are on the other side of the equator. I have a picture that explains it really well. This is a picture of the Earth as it travels around the sun. It takes one year for the Earth to go all the way around the sun. The equator that Teddy mentioned is an imaginary line that divides the Earth into a northern and a southern hemisphere. Tell them about the tilt, Emily. Ah, yes, the tilt is an important part of our story. In the winter, the northern hemisphere, where Minnesota is, is tilted away from the sun, so the days are shorter and the temperatures drop. Then six months later, when it's summer, the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. And the days are longer, and the temperatures rise. And we can go swimming! That's right, Teddy. The tilt, it's all about the tilt. The tilt is the reason for the seasons. That is correct. So, Teddy, if we went to Australia when it's summer here in Minnesota... It would be winter in Australia, and you would be just as unhappy. Ah, oh, I got a better idea. Let's learn to like winter. I think this book will help. Me Too by Valerie Garbachev. Teddy, this book is mostly a conversation between Bear and Chipmunk. How about if I read what Bear says and you read? What chipmunk says? Emily, I, I'm just barely learning to read. It's pretty simple. Mostly chipmunk just says, me too. Think you can do that? I'll try. I love the snow, said Bear. Go ahead, Daddy. <laughs> me too said Chipmunk. I will dig, said Bear. Me too, said Chipmunk. Good job, Teddy. I will make a snowman, said Bear. Me too, said Chipmunk.
Oh, I like our snowman," said Bear. "Oh, me too," said Chipmunk. "Good job, Teddy." "I want to skate," said Bear. "Me too," said Chipmunk. "I fell," said Bear. <gasps> "Me too," said Chipmunk. I love to ski," said Bear. Oh, me too," said Chipmunk. The snow is deep," said Bear. "It's up to my knees." Teddy, mine too. Mine too," said Chipmunk. Good job. Let's go home," said Bear. I am cold. Me too," said Chipmunk. I had fun in the snow," said Bear. <gasps> Me too," said Chipmunk. Oh, Emily, look! They're making cookies and having cocoa. Yes. Sweet dreams," said Bear. You too," said Chipmunk. "Good job, Teddy. And you didn't think you could read? Well, I tried. Good job. Me too. By Valerie Gorbachev. Emily, when are you gonna teach me to ski? Well, just as soon as possible, Teddy. I'm thinking maybe next year when you're five, we can start with cross country skiing." But Emily, there's not hills in in cross country skiing. It's all flat. No, that's not so, Teddy. There's plenty of hills. You just have to climb up them before you can go down. It's good exercise. And when you're good at that, we can try downhill. Oh, that would be so fun, Emily. And when you're in fourth grade, you can do downhill skiing for free as part of Minnesota's passport program. Really? Yes, it's just for fourth graders, and not all ski areas participate, but many all over the state do. So check it out. Emily, how come skiing is so expensive? Well, Teddy, they have to invest in a lot of equipment to run a ski area. You know, they have to make their own snow. What? Yes, they have snow-making machines that blow fresh snow all over the slope, and then they have to groom that snow with snow grooming machines that pat it all down and make it easy to ski on. And then there's the ski lift. The ski lift takes you to the top of the hill, so you don't have to climb. And then there's all the people that the ski area has to employ. The ski lift operators. They help you to get on the ski lift safely and off it as well. And then there's the ski patrol. They help to make sure that you have a safe experience skiing. Emily, is skiing dangerous? Not if you're careful and you follow the rules. Emily, show them the jar. Oh yes, the Emily and Teddy's ski fun jar. We are saving up so that we can go downhill skiing when Teddy's ready. Every time we walk instead of drive in the car, we put a dollar in the jar. And every time we make plans over the weekend that are inexpensive. More money goes into the jar, and whenever we eat takeout, I, whenever we eat leftovers instead of getting takeout, 
more money goes into the jar. Teddy is getting really good at making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Emily, I know how else we can make money for the ski jar. You do, Teddy? Yeah. How about if we make cookies instead of buying them? Emily, can we go skating? I'm afraid not, Teddy. It got too warm and the ski er skating areas all melted. Got slushy. Snow and they closed down. Oh, that's so disappointing. I like skating. But we can read another book. Emily, I think we need to move our bodies. We are not ready to read another book yet. Well, that's a great idea, Teddy. Why don't you lead the teddy bear chant? Oh, really? Yes. Okay, everybody stand up. This is the teddy bear chant. Stand up. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Good. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Teddy, that's enough jumping. But we have to get ready for a story time need to jump and jump and teddy wrap it up jump 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 to the ground teddy bear teddy bear sit back down thank you teddy i think we're ready for a story now we are gonna read where are all the minnesotans by carlin coleman Where are all the Minnesotans? Is it too cold to go outside? No. Snow pants. A jacket, a pair of warm boots, wool mittens on your hands, a hat pulled over your ears, a scarf covering your nose, and off you go. Where are all the Minnesotans? Is it too cold to go fishing? No, it's nice and snug in a little fishing house. Auger a hole, tie on an orange bobber, drop a line, and wait for the walleye to bite. Oh, it must be really warm in that fishing house, Emily, because they aren't even wearing coats. Where are all the Minnesotans? Is it too cold to skate? No, Emily, it's too mushy. No, it is not. It's a perfect day for a pond hockey game. Shovel off a rink, tie on some skates, and race back and forth across smooth, shiny ice, passing the puck until a goal is scored. Oh, I wish we could go skating. Where are all the Minnesotans? Is it too cold for a parade? No. Here comes King Boreas leading the way. Music and laughter melt the ice off the streets, and a winter carnival makes a chilly city feel warm. Oh, Emily, is that in St. Paul? Yes, it is, Teddy. It's the winter carnival. Where are all the Minnesotans? Is it too cold to fly a kite? No! A frozen lake is the perfect place. No trees, no wires, just wide open space and a strong north wind to push bright colored kites up and up toward the clouds that are ready to burst in snow. Oh, Emily, that looks like so much fun. I think it's a great idea, Teddy, but I think we need to remember that the ice on the lake is melting, so we're going to have to wait till next year. Where are all the Minnesotans? Does the early setting sun keep everyone from going out? No. Candles flicker and glow along the ski trails, and the moon and the stars shine from above. Everything's so clear and bright on a beautiful winter 
night. Teddy, do you remember the loppet? Oh, yeah, that was over on, on Lake of the Isles. Yes. Where are all the Minnesotans? Is the snow too deep? No. Grab a shovel, hook up the plow, and when the path is clear, gather up friends and sled down white-covered hills. Oh, Emily, me too, me too. And maybe we will get to do it again yet this year, Teddy. Where are all the Minnesotans? The temperature has dropped to 30 below. The wind is blowing. The schools are all closed. Now all the Minnesotans are gathered inside, reading books, baking sweet treats, building roaring fires in the fireplace. Oh, Emily, look, the mom is baking cookies. Now, Teddy, I want to be the dad sitting in the chair reading to the toddler. Well, Emily, I want to be the boy reaching for a cookie. And what all these Minnesotans know is that soon the ice and snow will melt away. Oh, look, Emily, a cardinal! Sure enough, Teddy, a cardinal. And when spring comes, no one will have to ask, where are all the Minnesotans? Because everyone will be outside. Oh, Emily, I can hardly wait to ride my bike. And me too, me too. Teddy, doesn't that make you happy about being a Minnesotan? Well, I'd be happier if we bake some cookies. Well, maybe today is the day. Would make the kitchen smell awfully nice. But first, let's get some fresh air, okay? Really? We're going to bake cookies? Will you help? <gasps> sure! Let's go outside and build a snowman first. Frosty the snowman was very happy, so... Teddy, let's sing the goodbye song, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Wow, I can't believe it. We're going to make cookies. Anyway, goodbye, saying don't you cry. I'll be back again someday. See you later.